There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, oh, I guess welcome to Space Rogue. Uh, I'm gonna hit back here, hit new game. I think I just lost the tutorial. Tutorial. Generating tutorial galaxy. Please wait. Let's uh, let's do the tutorial together real quick and figure out how to play this FTL-like game by the name again of Space Rogue. Now I'm out of coffee right now, which makes me sad. And I have to work tomorrow, so I can't have any more, which makes even sadder. All right, an ordinary reconnaissance mission. A piece of cake, even for a newbie, they said. But due to hyper-jumping calculation errors, your fragile ship winds up in the middle of a dangerous pirate sector. It seems you're going to have to learn how to survive in space the hard way. Commence on. The pirates have no doubt already noticed your appearance here. You'd better get a move on. Fly to the next star system. You've discovered the remains of a trading vessel. Someone clearly ran into some bad luck. Among the wreckage, the scanner detects an untouched container. It seems odd that someone just left it here, but it would be foolish not to take advantage of this opportunity. This is one of the many random events that occur throughout the game. Most of them present you with choices that affect the game's development. Choose with care. The only thing we have is take. We're taking it. As the end of each recom a random event, you can see the results. Rewards are green, are marked green with negative consequences marked in red. So, we found a person, a human engineer, sweet. We found a warrior, level five, sweet. And a tutorial laser, perfect. The engineer and warrior you saved have joined you. I will no doubt prove useful in the very near future. But let's equip your ship with the new weapon first. Alright. The window contains information about your ship, its crew, and its systems. You can check your ship's cargo hold here as well. Select Cargo tab. Installing the weapon you found is very simple. Oh man, my neighbor's dogs are going crazy. I can hear them outside the window. Ugh. Well, let us continue. Uh, install the weapons you found. It's very simple. Drag it to the free slot. Down here? Alright. You are now ready for a random encounter with some pirates. Close this window. Note that the jump button is active. If your ship's engines engine is out of action or charging after a jump you can execute a hyper jump it's time to move on all right it's like a car you've exited hyperspace near a pirate vessel its captain hails you I was just wondering when you'd run into that stay stray lamb everyone's been talking about and here you are I was one, just wondering when. Weed! Ah. Get ready for combat. The battle has only just begun, but your ship systems have already taken serious damage. Don't worry, though. Your crew includes an engineer who can quickly fix things. Select the engineer. And right click the damage section. A hey, artificial. Beep boop. Confuser. Beep boop. Awesome. Shield is recharging now. To battle, you can use the mini map of the enemy ship on the right side of the screen to aim. But for now, try switching to the camera to the enemy. It, it's hard to read when they put that, like, <laughs> darkening over it. Attacking. We fired. Oh, yeah! The shields are down. Now, t let's take out the pirate crew. With the weapons. Oh, my. Intruders on board! The pirates decided to fight to the very end. He teleported a commando onto your ship. 
Your warrior should be able to neutralize the enemy on board without difficulty. Select your warrior. Right click the bay the enemy teleported to. He's in the medical lab. This ain't good. All right, artificial, if you're not back, we'll see you Bow. later, man. All right. Let's use the battle cartridge to temporarily boost the damage output of your weapons. Nice. Now let's finish the off the scumbag. Your weapon is still trained on the enemy. Use auto button. Oh my. We'd recharge so quick. Oh, nice. The FT Smelly has been defeated. Alright, the pirate was overconfident. Scan the wreckage. 42 credits. Usually, you'll receive a reward after each battle you win. Experience, money, and sometimes items. Or even crew members. Let's jump to the next section. All right, you were lucky you didn't run into another pirate after your jump, and luckier still that you jumped near a planet where you can try to mine some minerals. Uh, your ship has arrived in an empty star system. Scanners find titanium on the planet nearby. Start mining for 20 credits. Why does it cost me money? Ah, achievement unlocked, prospector. <laughs> oh my word. Have fun with the space game. Family movie night is commencing momentarily. Farewell. Yes, thanks, Confuser, for showing up. Let's see. Amount of resources gained. You can stop mining at any time and take the ore you've already found. If you encounter three zones of unstable ore during the drilling process, the entire mineral vein will be destroyed. Number of drill attempts. Select the zones to mine the most valuable resources in the galaxy, titanium ore. The color of the zone indicates the risk of failure during drilling. All right. Got it. So low content, low chance of treasure, low chance of trap, low. Sweet. Very nice. Ooh. Oh my. Last one. We got it. Finish. You, we got four titanium mined and 12 credits. Let's go to the ship. Systems. Ship hall. Try upgrading your ship hall. Upgrade. Upgrade ship? Yes. Ship upgraded to level two. Health plus 300. Cargo capacity plus one. Oh, that's nice. The more durable your hull, the better chances in battle. Close the management window. Go to jump. On to the next sector. You exit hyperspace and see another ship nearby. The frightened face of this captain appears on the com, com screen. Don't attack us. We don't know. Are we? We know. We need to pay to pass through your sector. Take our money. Explain you're not a pirate. Threaten them and take their money. Uh, I feel like we should be a good guy, so we'll take. Uh, we won't take their money. The captain is so scared that he doesn't even listen to you. He just transported the <laughs> transferred the money anyway, and then flies away. Sixty-five credits. Nice. <laughs> All right. The first thing you do is repair your ship. Do you really wish to purchase this? Yes. You can buy an additional weapon, battle cartridge, titanium, or hire a new crew member. When you're done, click the close button. An additional weapon, huh? What do we have? We have the tutorial laser, which does 100 damage per second. Oh my gosh. That's actually really good. Everything else is 10, 8, 4. Blah. The crew members, level two, that's not too bad. Drones, hmm, hmm. We can also buy titanium for 40 credits. How much money we got? Uh, uh, maybe here, but it's all darkened out because the menu's open. Okay, 
Interesting. I guess we'll buy a small laser. And then we're gonna have to equip it. Aw, oh, but I can't equip it? I have to jump. Blech. During your jump, your ship hit a patch of hyperspace turbulence. Your O2 system has broken down, and the hull has been breached. The stress caused some equipment to overload, and a fire has broken out. Save the ship! Life support system is broken. Your oxygen supply is leaking out of a hole. Out of the hull breach. Without oxygen, the fire will go out. But waiting around for it to happen is dangerous. Select your engineer. All right, we've sent him over there for repairs. Select your captain. The captain increases the effectiveness of the module he's in. Then he is primarily, uh, that he is primary, that's his primary role. But the captain can do the repair work too. So meanwhile, your warrior can deal with the fire. There you go. So he's gonna repair uh, the uh, medical bay. He's gonna repair the hull breach. And he's going to put out the fire on our, our engine, which just took damage. Alright. Let's get you out of there, bud. Need you... Need you... somewhere. I have to jump with them hurt? No! Pink Nebula. A pirate ship in... Intercepts you. It seems some guests in our sector want to leave without saying goodbye. Where are your manners? The pirate is moving to attack. Another pirate? But you already but you're already experienced enough to deal with this one. Without hints. Good luck. Uh there we go. Wish they had let me do that earlier. Let's uh go over here and say their weapon room and then when this thing's online we'll have it attack there vent bay vent all the air from the selected bay on your ship reduces movement speed of the crew members in the bay overload slot increases the next shot damage by 50 percent oh sweet all right we'll switch back over here um i guess one pause captain Get it in the medical bay. It looks like they're all trying to repair one less pirate. They die that quick? Oh man. 39. 8 experience. And we got another engineer. Jump. Last place. Onward. You've successfully reached the navigational buoy that marks the route to the next sector. Execute jump. You've successfully finished the tutorial. Now, select Start New Game to enjoy real space exploration, dangers, battles, loot, and real pirates. All right. Well, that was the tutorial. Only 13 minutes long. That's not half bad compared to some games that are, the tutorials are like three hours long and it's just a pain, such a pain. I'm gonna turn up the in-game music because it's pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Let's start a new game. Uh, we can't unlock any perks because it requires level four and level 15, a combat missile of the Earth. Federation, simple to control, balanced and versatile. Main mission. Oh yeah, we've got we got missions that we can go through, so it's not like we got one that we're stuck on and keep dying at the boss at the end. You know what I'm talking about. We got missiles and a small laser. Dang, I want that tutorial missile back. Look at that, eight per second. Blech. I got a nice crew here. Are we able to rename them? No. All right, we are gonna start the mission, The Sleeping Threat. Generating new galaxy. Still generating new galaxy. 
Please wait while we generate an entire galaxy of life, aging it properly so that there's just enough civilization left. All right, wanted. A signal from intercoms, or from the intercom, interrupts your glory, or gloomy thoughts of final financial difficulties. Ever present in the mind of any beginning adventurer. Commander, we've reached the contract to destroy. We received a contract to destroy a pirate ship. Will we accept? Find out who the customer is. Her quest came from an anonymous customer. This isn't too surprising in principle. Most contracts like this one contain only minimum necessary details. Check to see how much is the reward. The size of the reward isn't substantial. Suspicious. The amount is significantly sufficient to draw attention, but not so great as to likely be an obvious scam. All right. <laughs> You usually prefer not to take on bounty hunting jobs. They're too messy and troublesome, but a little money sure would come in handy right now. Get the coordinates of the pirate's last known position. Uh, unknown ship? Warden ship? Hyperspace beacon? Did we get the coordinates? Map? Oh, wow. Human. Norg. How interesting. Information. The sleeping threat. You accepted a contract to eliminate a dangerous pirate. So he is in the sector. Is it here? You've accepted a contract. Okay, he's at the sun. Well, let's start making our way there. A peaceful trader approaches your ship. Scare them. Send a boarding party to take the ship. Let it pass. Uh, trading vessel silently floats past. Let's get him over there. Who is this? Navigator? We'll get you up front. You are engineer. I guess that's a good spot for you. And you are engineer. Get you in here. What is this? Teleporter. We don't even have to buy the upgrade. We just have it. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and jump. Over to, what is this? Something. You've encountered a ship surrounded by specialized repair drones. Greetings from the new Nuts and Bolts Repair Service. We're giving out free diagnosis to celebrate the launch of a business. You don't have enough time to answer before the repair drone set to work. Drones quickly check your ship. After this, the nuts and bolts ship wishes you luck and jumps away. Ship haul repaired for 27%. Wait, was I damaged? Was I in combat? Maybe it just starts you damaged. Hmm. We got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Might as well just go up then. You stop for a small breather at a cozy orbital station. You encounter a streetwise and self-confident character in the local bar. I'm the champion chot player in this sector. If you play a game and beat me, I promise you an incredible prize. But I warn you, I only pay for play for high stakes. I only have 300 bucks. So we're going to decline. As you like, maybe we'll meet again sometime. You hear in response. Yeah, I can't just uh, squander all our money in one. <sighs> I don't think we use any jump fuel either. The navigational buoy, buoy transfers the coordinates for a jump into the next sector. Jump or remain in the sector. We're going to remain, of course. And... Move on to the next planet. Your ship arrives in an empty star system. Scanners find titanium on the planet nearby. Start mining for 20 credits, heck yeah. J-Man, welcome. All right, we got one easy spot for mining. You found treasure with seven credits in it. You er, 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 found treasure. <laughs> All right, these are 
medium. There we go. Finish. Two titanium mined. Not bad, not bad. All right, what do we got here? A meteor storm and a neutral ship, or an unknown ship. During your jump, your ship went through hyperspace anomaly. The ship's hull was surrounded by a mysterious light. It disappeared as soon as you exited your jump. Check the ship's condition. Ship's hull repaired for 28%. I'm not damaged though. <laughs> Gosh, I'm wasting all these repairs. All right, we've made it over to the sun. Exiting your jump, you quickly intercept the pirate ship you were looking for. Which is being attacked by a gigantic space monster. A little more, and it will tear its prey into shreds. We can't allow that. Oh my gosh. Uh. Can we get any information on this? What is this thing? It's got toxic slime, brain stress, it's got claws and brain. That's a brain, huh? All right, we're gonna attack with both of those. We're gonna turn on the uh, thing of a bobber. Force fire increases damage dealt to the selected system on the enemy ship up to 150 for 10 seconds. We're also gonna hit it with that. Um, and there we go. Hyperspace fluctuation prevents you from hyper jumping and harmful radiation. The dangerous star radiates should may cause fires on board. Oh my. Switch back. Gosh, that brain stress just looks horrible. When will you do signal simulator? Ah, they just updated, so soon, probably tomorrow after work. Um, I just wanted to, to get a little more updating because I keep changing the values on upgrades and stuff, and I don't want to overpay for an upgrade. If they can lower it further, I'm happy. All right. Oh my gosh. That was so much fire. It just fired at us. All right, brain is at zero. So now we're gonna pause the game and we're gonna target its uh, arms. All right, back to our ship. Oh gosh, get over to medical bay. Uh, I need my engineer in there. Oh, the engines are offline. Fix that, quick. All right, over to you. And we need to target this one. Switch back to our ship. Over to this. The engine is broken. No. Come on, blow off its arm. Yeah. Fire again. Fire on board. Where do we got? Ah, oh, shoot. Simon is fighting it. All right, he's in the best place. Okay, we gotta rotate him out, and get him in there. All right, we gotta attack these arms, both of them. At least he's not attacking us as much now that his arms have been broken off. Oh, the engine is broken again. How's our crew doing? really going after our enemy. Oh, we've defeated him. You won't forget your meeting with this incredible beast anytime soon. While you were fighting, your initial target tried to escape, naturally, but its damaged engines couldn't make the jump to hyperspace. Let's finish this quick. Stop, don't shoot. A soot-covered face appears on the comm screen. You see the light of fire in the background. It looks like the situation on board is critical. I have a great counteroffer for you. How great. I'm an agent of the Galactic Council. The reward on my head is no accident. They want to get rid of me so that Kyle Altar Atar can get away. Who is that? Kyle Altar is a computer engineer from Earth. A real fanatic. He has been performing forbidden and very dangerous experiments with artificial intelligence. Kyle has been taken alive. 
has to be taken alive. His laboratory ship is somewhere nearby. My ship is almost in pieces, but Kyle can be allowed or can't be allowed to get away. The way I see it, this is just the job for a bounty hunter. I'm even willing to pay and advance. I don't care about actually fine. <laughs> really? Uh, since you're new, J-Man, I play all sorts of games. Whatever you guys are enjoying, and I can find some enjoyment too. It's all good. As you can see, recently we've been just kind of searching, searching for the next game that makes you everyone happy. It's a little hard to do. The agent sends you the coordinates of the system where Kyle Attar was last seen. Handle this, and the Galactic Council will owe you a big favor. Can't promise anything, but I'll try. All right, we got four titanium ore, 54 credits, 12 XP. Some of your crew have received bonuses for their actions in battle. Plus six has received 328 damage, has received 247 damage. All right, everyone's health okay? No, yours is. There is a shot. You could use a heal too. How are you doing? You're fine. Oh shoot, fire on board. Go warrior. This area is dangerous. All right, you get over there. Get over there. Okay, the engine's online enough that we can jump since there's bad radiation here. A Morden ship. Where's our map? All right, looks like we need to go to the top area. You exit the near the jump in a quiet star system. You see no ships and stations of any kind. Remain in the current system or continue on. We'll continue on. Heading for the jump gate. You scan the system several times right after your jump, but find nothing of interest. Continue on. The crew of all ships have been sent a free video course teaching them how to use weaponry. All weapon damage has been increased by 30%. The effect will last nine jumps. Well, that's not a, anything to sneeze at. Frozen Horizon, or Forza Horizon 3? Nah, that one's more of a console game. That's one thing I can't play on the channel right now is console. I don't have the hardware. The navigational buoy transfers the coordinates for a jump into the next sector. Let's jump. Whoosh. Hey, maybe we can repair. Let's see. Minor repairs, 5% to haul. Maximum possible repair, 73 bucks. Hmm. Well, we kind of need it. We're at 50%. There we go. What can we do? Do we have anything better? Weapons. Eight. Ten. So the small laser is better. Two percent fire damage. Two percent. It's being boosted because we have the crew. Um. Why don't we buy that? It's a little more damage, but it should help us out. And we'll sell... So I gotta unequip it. Oh, he's still fighting that fire. <laughs> Come on, put out that fire. I don't know why he's unable to put out the fire. Let's see. Vent Bay. There. Wow. <laughs> we need to send help. Get that fire out. There we go. We'll get you healed and we'll get you healed because there's no air in there. What is my favorite game? Hmm favorite game. 
I would say it was subculture. That one's gonna be a little hard to find. It's uh, from 1997, but it uh, it was good. All right, we're we're a little hurt from that, but oh well. Let's see, fall into saved positions, hide crew. O2 is at 90, 90, 100, okay. Shop, that's what I was looking for. Oh, because we need to equip this. Cargo, small laser. So now we got 13 damage. With this one we could sell at the shop for 53. We should probably buy some more missiles too, if we can. Type rocket. Hmm, pierces shields 100%. That's the good thing about the rocket there. I don't see uh, ammo, so maybe it doesn't use it, or they just don't have it. Harmful radiation and a crystallide. Kid, welcome to the stream. Hmm. Let's go for this unknown. You find a large cloud of crystallized shards. Inside it, the scan detects a rescue drone. It is putting out isn't putting out any signals. Uh, main computer has to be level 4 or higher. Check the drone. No sooner do you approach the drone, the crystallized shards suddenly begin to move. They reform before your eyes. The living crystal moves to attack. Battle stations! What the heck? So it's got a brain cell, energy crystals, cargo. Energy crystal... Energy crystal, energy crystal, brain cells. Okay, so let's attack those two and focus fire on that one. And let's begin. Oh my gosh. They just targeted three of our spots. How are we doing here? Oh, you're hurt. Get in there. The enemy has used regeneration. The crystal is reconstructing. Oh, I see. Is it robbing? No, it's not. So we have to take out that one. The middle one has to go. Focus fire. That one. Quick. Ah, there's a fire on board. A robot. Oh shoot, we got him! After fighting off the attack, you check the debris of the crystal and fi don't find it. Our, wait, crystallized. And don't forget about the rescued drone either. Continue on. Three titanium ore, human warrior, joined your crew. And 9 XP, 64 credits. All right, we got this fire here, but he's he's putting it out, right? Come on. Okay, fire's out. Now let's uh, do what we did in the uh, the thing of a bobber. We're gonna upgrade this for the cost of five. That gave us three hundred more weapons. Increases the damage dealt. Let's increase that. We got five more we can spend. Hey, achievement unlocked. Space tuning. New game, yield. Private Hulu Hulu Hello Hello. I play on console, that's why I was asking about. Ah, yes, sir. I have the Xbox One, but I haven't turned it on in over a year at this point. The main computer response for use of battle cartridges increases credits and experience earned. That's a good one. There we go. We are now poor of titanium. Alright, they're healed up. 
Let's jump and head over here. You see the ship of the fugitive computer engineer, but it's taken a direct hit from an asteroid. It looks like the ship ran into an unexpected meteor shower. Several asteroid shards are stuck in the hull. It seems like the ship is dead, but the scanner detects some activity. Check the scan data. You detect that the asteroid that destroyed the ship are infested with plexer mindless space monsters that eat anything they see. The plexers are already approaching your ship. Several of the beasts are about to chew through your hull and make their way inside. Prepare to protect the ship. Oh my gosh, there's so many. We got hull breaches. Wait, where'd you go? Go in there. Fight, warrior, fight. All right, get in there. Oxygen levels down to 91%. You get in there and start repairing. You've repelled the attack, but only to meet another wave of ravenous parox. No! We're down to 81% health, or oxygen. You get repair in that. We need this uh, medical bay back up, sir. The plocks have retreated, but you still need to clear the ship to find out the fate of Kyle Atar. One last push. Oh, come on, guys. I need to heal up. All right. Yes. Fight them. Fight. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Is that spawning them? Get in there. Quick. Yes. Destroy it. Who's hurt that bad? Get over here. Oh man, it's spawning more! You get in there. Quick! See if I can balance this out. Get in there. Fight him. Oh! Did someone die? Achievement unlocked. Target practice. After getting rid of the infest intrusive plaques, you carefully inspect the ship. Little survived the accident, but you find an SOS signal in the main computer. It was sent right after the collision with the asteroid. A Klaxon military cruiser responded to the signal. Send the information to the Galactic Council agent. The agent asks you to stay on the line while he checks the ID code of the Klaxon ship. A couple of minutes later, you receive some coordinates. The, the Chaks aren't too careful about security. Tracking them is easy. Getting Kyle back from them will be a lot tougher. Oh, man. All right, we gotta repair this hull breach. We need to get you healed up for the intrusion. Oh, man. All right. Heal that hole. There we go. doing a great job. Let's get you healing up. Let's get you in here waiting to take a place on the uh, teleporter pad. Ooh, titanium detected here. We could do that. All right, you guys go heal up. Once you're healed, I need you to repair the shields. We're at, what, 60% health? Cool. I think that's almost done, yeah. Shields are coming online. 
Perfect. Alright, let's mine. Sending out the thing. Alright, lots of green. That's good news. Useless rock, useless rock. Oh. There we go. One titanium. That's it, huh? Lost five credits, gained one titanium. It was worth it. Alright, to the map. It's uh, over one star system. Okay. Well, let's check out this nebula real quick. You see a large merchant vessel and two pirates nearby. The pirates are communicating on the open channel. They're debating whether they should attack the trader. Offer to help them on their attack on the trader. Attack the pirates. One of the pirates flees immediately. The second prepares to fight. Okay. So what has he got? He's got weapons, main computer, shields, and engines. Hmm. There's their weapon room. That would be a, oops, a good one to take out. And we should teleport into their engine room. Yes, that sounds like a good plan to me. They got a repair bot in there. Uh-oh. I can't call him back. Oh, we lost our two warriors. The weapons are broken. What? What? They really did a number on us. That was a bad move. Oy. I see. They sent over a drone, which kind of beat us up a bit. Oh man, is this going to be the end? Get in there. Fix the weapons. I need more power. Gosh dang it. Is there a reload? No, no, we got permadeath. Alright, so they make painful noises when they're in trouble. Can I jump out? No. There we go. There we go. We got we got some weapons. We'll hit them. Come on, keep firing. Pair up those weapons. Let's get back over your health. Health is doing great. Get back over here for our shields. He almost got... No! <laughs> oh. Total score. Score bonus. Final score. <sighs> Load autosave? That's a thing? Oh, wow. It's not the end. It's so different compared to FTL. Alright, last time we upgraded our weapon. Man. Um, but they don't have the same weapons this time. Prototype Blaster. 7.5 damage. So this thing completely bypasses shields. Assault Cannon. 50% shield pierce. Six, five, plus the bonus. So it's not worth it this time. Hmm. Why don't we uh, throw those upgrades into the ship? We can only afford two of them because we haven't done that other thing. Ah, interesting. Drones, shields. Uh, let's do weapons again. Okay, well, now we know. 
don't teleport your people over there just because you have the ability. It might not work out. Since we're gonna have the, I guess, same price for repair, we'll uh, get this fixed up. Let's get over there, and then we'll have them repair us. All right, 76, yes, sir. There we go, full repair this time. We're learning. Oxygen is almost completed. Let's see, we're gonna jump here. What time is the signal sim stream tomorrow? Probably about, let's see, Pacific Standard Time, I would say maybe 4.30, 5 o'clock. Accept the contract to destroy the monster. The Galactic Council is searching for a crew willing to destroy a dangerous space monster unexpectedly detected in this sector. Let's do it. You receive the coordinates of the system where the monster was last detected. Titanium. Oh my. Useless rock. Uh oh. Unstable titanium. But that's it. Cool. Four titanium mined. That gives us another upgrade to the ship. Systems. Uh, let's go shields this time. Yeah. Health, 150. Shields, plus 50. Damage taken from beam weapons reduced by 4%. Nice. Alright, let's jump. That's that crystal monster again. Hmm. Oh, uh, okay. I guess that's the uh, gigantic space monsters over there. We don't have a computer of level 5, so we'll check the drone, search the drone. Oh, it's different this time. We didn't have a space monster to fight. Okay, should have read that then. I expected the same. A ship of robots intercepts you and disables all your systems with a sudden ion pulse. The robot captain rumbles. The great random function will now decide your fate. Pathetic meat bags. You try to restart your systems, but no effect. The robot screech. The great random functions orders us to rob you. Your ship is defenseless after the ion burst. You can do nothing. 59 credits. Those robot monsters. What is that? Your course only just intercepts the flight trajectory of a large asteroid. You make the required course corrections to avoid the gigantic obstacle, but suddenly, a huge space monster emerges from the asteroid. We can take it to battle stations. It's this creature. Oh, it's outside. <laughs> its butt is sticking out of the asteroid. Okay, we'll hit that and that. Got the brain things going on right now. Let's uh let's see how this is going. He is hurting my dude. Can't teleport over. Everyone's affected by the brain. Although I love Signal Sim, I might miss that stream. Oh, J Man. Sorry about that. It's just right after work. You can always watch the VOD after. Oh, man. All right. I'd love to watch the combat going on on this side, especially since I need to readjust the targeting. Attack that brain. Switch back over here. Hmm, you need to get healed. Oh, my poor hull. I just repaired it. They're just after my engine like crazy there. Come on. How's his brain doing? Ah, oh, his brain is offline. Let's get his arms. Come on. 
Are you attacking my medical bay? Holy smokes. Well, that's a great room for keeping my crew alive, but still. Oh, shoot. Did he die? The monster has been defeated. Hmm. Did it devour anything you could use while it was alive? Oh, we got our credits back. Some experience? Cool. Send him back over there. Hmm. Need an engineer in there. Summon the weapons. Uh, we'll probably save these locations. There. Alright, we can also mine this area. Sweet! Alright. High titanium content, but unstable. We found 20 credits. What was that? Ran into a trap and lost. Aww. That's it. No money. What? We got into 20 and lost 16. I guess that's something. Where are we? Here. Ah, oh, that would be sweet, Jamin. You notice that your target almost as soon as you exit your jump. Gigantic space monsters are hard to miss. Ah, uh, it's one of these. He's also sitting out of a rock. Alright, we're gonna take out his brain first. Okay, he's hitting the uh, engine again. Alright, his brain is dead, but he's still attacking, of course. So we will uh, take care of his arms now. Good, good. Get that and that on that. There we go. Come on, stop attacking my engine! There we go. Okay. Readjusting target to the claw. We're gonna have to go repair. This hurts. Hopefully it was worth it. Oh, now they're attacking my weapon room. Oh, you killed my crew member. No, I just wanted to see the action. Thanks to your efforts, the sector is now safe. A missile, titanium ore. Well, we've lost someone dear. We've lost two people. They killed off our engineers. Dang it. Ugh. We can mine. It's mine. All right. One titanium out of that. We have enough for an upgrade. Let's go for... Engines? Reduces cannon and missile damage dealt to your ship. That sounds great. It's got evasion, that's why. Okay, well, let's save our new locations. Most annoying thing in it. FTG, giant random space monsters coming out of asteroids and attacking your engines. FTL. Uh, <laughs> well, this is an FTL-like game. I don't think they ever had that happen in that one. This is Rogue. Uh, space Rogue. All right. Let's get out of here. What's this? Lost cargo. Oh, yes, please. Bring the cargo aboard. The navigational computer informs you that there's a cargo container floating in space, dead ahead. There are no other ships nearby. It looks safe to pick up. After battling with the container's lock, you finally open it. Assault cannon, 54 credits, and experience. 
leveled up. Udo, human navigator. Human navigator, huh? Let's get you some more health. I'd hate for you to die. Oh, and our warrior's leveled up too. Uh, you get more health too. There you go, guys. Congratulations. Victory! What do we got here? Harmful radiation. Great! Let's get out of here. A robot ship? Blah. We're going to run away. You find yourself in an empty section. Scanners show no point of interest. Continue on. I'm so glad we don't have a fuel to worry about. The damage output of all weapons has been back to normal. Continue on. Dang, autocorrect. Oh, wait. I didn't read the title correctly. Yeah. After jumping, continue on. It's because we've already been here. We're going to go back to the space station for some much needed repairs. Before another robot squad robs us. Okay, so we got new weapons. So, ship, cargo. We've got a missile that's uh, 4 plus 0.12. Ours is better. Then we also got a assault cannon, which still bypasses 50% of armor. Does 30 damage, 15. This one does 150, 37, and 37. But somehow that one how long does it take to fire I suppose cool down 10 seconds cool down 15 seconds huh well I'd say both of them are worth just selling hmm sell 100 Sell for 50, buy, let's buy some titanium. Purchase all. It's gonna cost 280, okay. And then we're gonna go to ship. We're gonna go to systems, we're gonna upgrade again. Let's see, how much does it cost now? 10, we don't have that. 10, main computer to five, life support. Let's do computer. Increases the experience. Perfect. To the jump menu. And probably head this way to our target destination. Favorite meme? Well, before it was considered hateful, the Uganda Knuckles was pretty funny. Um, Trumpet Boy is interesting. You can find... Let's see, continue right over here. You see the ship of the fugitive computer engineer. Yes, we saw that just a few minutes ago. Aha, we're about to be attacked. We've got life wardens on board. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to defend the ship. Everyone to the med bay. <laughs> Now, uh, might as well take out the shield to protect that. You go in there and fight the shield. Oh, the pain. We're gonna have to keep close eyes on these guys. Come on, I need you to move. You need to go in medical. You need to get in there. Uh, let's see here. You repel the attack, but only to meet another wave. Alright, everyone to medical. We've got multiple ship breaches. Oxygen is going down. Get in there. It's too bad these things don't need oxygen. I guess that makes sense. Yes, our warrior is fighting well. Get in there. Teleporter is broken. Wonderful. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, you're gonna break my engines next. Alright, we don't need to repair that right now.
make it in there. And then we gotta watch out. Number three will have that, uh, that lousy pod that spawns them. Alright, one last push. Alright, I see the pod. I'm sending them over there. This guy's gonna just have to defend the medical area. Dangerous life boards on board. Fight, my children, fight! Oh. Engine is broken. Great. Yes, get the spawner. Get it! Weapons are broken. There we go. Get over here. You defend the computer. Defend the medical. It's crucial to your life. I think right now we could actually teleport over to a ship. But the... Oh, no! Gosh. All right, technician, it's all up to you. <sighs> this is going to be a lonely ship for him. Send the agent the information from the council, blah, blah, blah. All right, all right. Technician, I need you healed. Ugh. Face palming right here. Mine is. Mother says it's my turn on the entertainment apparatus. Really? All right, while he's repairing, we'll uh, mine the area. All right, we got titanium. Titanium high, insta instability. Oh, sweet, that was, a, that was a good one. We got enough for another low-level repair. Um, upgrade. Just, um, do we have anything that's not level two? Teleporter and life support. Life support and upgrade. Man, we're gonna have to go back for repairs already. <laughs> and hopefully they sell some crew to me, because I'm, I'm all by myself here on a ship. It's made to be crewed by many. No, I don't need you pushing buttons. I need you to repair the stuff so we can get into combat somewhere else. Perfect. It's not easy. Being all by yourself, out in the universe, you go a little crazy. Come on, fix that hall breach. Yeah. Let's get out of the room while it heals up the oxygen levels. And we'll go back in. Fix it. There's the shields going up. Yeah, I'll have to look up that meme. The entertainment apparatus, eh? Alright, shields are online, but we're gonna need engines to be able to jump out of here. All breach alarm. 87% oxygen. Oxygen is staying pretty constant right now. Engines are almost repaired. This guy's gonna have so much XP for repairing all this stuff. He's pretty good at it. All right, can you repair it before you die? I'm ready to send you out of the room. You can't heal in the next three, two, one. Out of the room with you. Go heal. Man, this is crazy. So tense. 
back inside we go. Air. Alright. Repair. Heal yourself. I think the ship is good. We're all green. Alright. Rumor has it that the Sevesian split spit improves the properties of focusing lenses. The arms companies have decided to orchestrate a large-scale test for the theory. Damage dealt by beam weapons have been increased by 25%. This test lasts three days. Nice. Continue on. Oh, shoot. You can do double? What? Uh, I went past... <laughs> I didn't realize I could move that far. Ah, I did it again. Yeah, I'm running low on caffeine, guys. There we go. All right, I need to buy some crew. Oh my gosh, they have crew. And I have money. Uh, yeah. Higher. Yes. I got 61. Can we sell anything? We can't can't repair because we're full health even after all that let's get the warrior over there we got a technician we're back up we're no longer all by ourselves this is wonderful uh, da, 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 da. let's see I'm hoping the game auto saves because mm, I don't know do we risk it do we keep going we need to go to left all right, so if I click here. You chose the dangerous path, computer. A robotic ship flies in next to you. It instantly knocks out your engines with a powerful ion blast and then sends a boarding party. Defend the ship! What do we ever do to the robots? Warrior, I need you here to defend the, the crew, bridge crew. Get over there. You, I need you over here. And we're under attack at the same time. I don't have time for this. Let's see. Which one's weapons? What's that one? Star. Let's see. We'll tell it to attack that main computer. Okay. So we'll just target that guy. And we'll move back. Alright. Keep the shields up. Warriors fighting hard. Get out of there. Come over here. No, 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 no. Run for it. Run. No, I just bought you for money. Dang it. That's one thing about this game I've noticed. The crew is a little finicky. They don't follow orders with multiple clicks. Alright, you get in there now. Come on. Get in there now. All right, go heal yourself. You repair the main computer. All right, he is almost dead. One more hit should end his life. If it got through the shield. Did you just run? The robots have managed to jump away. No. No, those monsters. And they're gone. They're not even on my radar. Grr. Tiny, welcome to the stream. We're going to jump. Vroom. Wait, I'm just going to make the sound effects for that. Vroom. All right, we're here. We can repair. They have some nice stuff here. 270 we got crew I can't afford none of it because they got away couldn't get any loot all right jump where's our quest taking us over here the sleeping threat the fugitive Kyle Altier has fallen into the clutches of the jacks for the sake of galactic safety I must convince them to hand over the renegade the Norgs have released a new type of implant for widespread testing. It increases brain activity. Experience received by your crew has been increased by 40. 
Captain, we have a problem. The scanner reports that a Chensaxon assault ship is nearby and getting nearer every second. A boarding party emerges from its, its airlock and heads towards your ship. Uh, try to ram the boarding party? You have broken your own code of honor and attacked us without warning. I demand an explanation. Enough chatter, the commander suddenly claims. Your jump into the system was unauthorized and we won't fall to your tricks. They forced their way onto my ship. No! All right, let's see. We need to take out their weapons. ASAP, which is this room. Weapons, yes. So both attack and then use the special ability back to this ship over here. All right, now we need to fight the boarding party. Everyone in. Fight him. Teleporter's broken. Great. At 50%. We're sending him out. Alright. Let's get into there. Save our shields. Do our full health. Save the shields, please. Alright. Oh, man. Damage these people just as much as mine. Okay, everyone, to that back room for some repair. My uh, weapons, missiles are offline, but lasers are still firing. You get in there. You as well. Keep the weapons firing, please. With all due haste, we must continue to fire at them. There we go. Main computer, we need you. Should repair the shield. Oh, there goes our missile. Yeah, missile, go! Yes, that was a direct hit on their weapons. I don't think they have anyone else they can board us with. They're going to attack. Oh, that was really damaging to our weapons. Come on, keep the shields up. We're gonna split. You go over there and keep weapons going. Alright, to the engines with you. Yes, good, good, yes. Keep their weapons damaged. Alright, over to their ship. Target that. There we go. We need more shots like that. Their shields are very powerful. There. The missiles take so long to fire. Everything's going okay over there. Back over to this guy. Are you going to teleport over? Alright. You hit their shields. You keep hitting the weapons. If we can take out their shield generator, then our other weapon's going to do more damage. There we go. Shields offline. Perfect. Yeah! Sweet. They, they don't have time to heal their uh, their shields. Their weapons are going offline one by one. The enemy is trying to flee. Uh, engines. Take the bribe. Yes, I will take the bribe. Good. Okay. <laughs> Let's repair up the ship. Man. Pew, pew, pew. You got it.
Yeah. I mean, we got paid out, but still, it's better than taking more damage. Blue Nebula. The Nebula reduces crew movement speed and engine recharge rate. Wonderful. All right, we're here. Uh, let's go back and repair. I know, I got here like 10 minutes ago. What is this? Speedy, welcome to the stream. This is Space Rogue. It's an FTL-like game. I've been meaning to play it for forever. But, uh, just haven't had the time. And now we have time. Hmm. It says the mission's here. Oh, it's right there on that sun. It's so bright I could not see it. We got a crystal entity. Scan the crystal. The uh, crystal emits flashes of light in various colors in response. Uh, flash red on board lights in response. Flash green. Flash yellow. Shoot the crystal! Let's do green. The crystal flashes with a random light several times. A shard breaks away from it and floats towards you. You scan the approaching object. There's a cargo container inside the crystalline shard. Homing missiles. Oh boy, that's awesome. Ship cargo. Eleven. That is really nice. What an upgrade. We don't have enough uh, to do anything else, so we'll jump away. Oh, military base. Well, we don't have any money for it, so we'll just bypass it. All right, J-Man. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. You encounter a space brigade that has been remote remodeled. Barge. <laughs> a barge that has been remodeled into an arena for gladiators. It is surrounded by an audience of spectator ships. The fight is just about to begin. You still have time to place a bet. Try your luck for 60. I don't have enough. Fly on by. You don't have time for distractions like this. Okay, we got a red ship that moved. Nice. A galactic council ship emerges from hyperspace near you. Hello. In connection with the recent events, we are in need of new volunteers for the Council Military Academy. Perhaps one of your crew members would like a change of career. We would reward this decision with credits. Sell a chosen crewmate for 110. Haggle the price. Decline. All right, we got below us for 30 credits the chance to mine this planet. We made money. 56 credits. <laughs> we made 26 credits. Oh, wasn't even worth it then. All right, let's continue on the story of this mission. You exit hyperspace next to a small orbital outpost. Belonging to the Jacks. Next to it floats a fearsome Caxon battle cruiser. The Cax immediately hails you. Who do you think you are? Get out of here or we'll open fire. Demand that you give they give you the runaway scientist. Carefully inquire about the runaway scientist. Start talking to distract the Clax, then attack without warning. Demand. The Clax are surprised and whisper something among themselves. Then the connection suddenly cuts off. The Cax Cruiser begins to approach threateningly. There's no point in arguing. Battle stations! Oh, man! They had a shot just... They just bursted right through me and destroyed my weapons. Get those things prepared. Dang. Well, they only have three... Oh, my gosh! They only have three crew aboard, so they're not going to be, like, teleporting over. Uh, once my weapons are repaired, I would like... can't even tell them what to do. Alright, you. Hit their weapons. All breach detected. Engines broken. And missiles attack their shields. We know the weakness of the ship. Okay, I need you to heal up. Repair. really need the medical room fixed up. Come on. Move. You gotta move quick. Holy smokes. 
smokes. The main computer is now broken. All right, their ship's at 50%, our ship's at 50%. We can hold out. We can survive. Oh, man. We're just going to hide in here. Hopefully our weapons will stay fully prepared. They're trying to fix their shields, which they may get done. There we go. They are gone. Boom. Just as you think the battle is over, the captain of the Cruxian cruiser suddenly boards you. He made his way to your ship unnoticed in the heat of battle. The cracks cause a breach in the hull using a special drill on his spacesuit and start smashing everything in his path. Stop him at all costs. He's in the weapons. Oh my gosh. He does 56 damage. All right. Your technicians. Oh my gosh. Get over here. All right. All right. Get away from him. No, he died. This is the end of us, I fear. Come on, you could have survived if you had just listened to me. Ah. <laughs> All right, final score, 95. We may do a reload of the autosave. Maybe next time, maybe not. There we go. Reward. Congratulations, new difficulty setting unlocked. What, there's difficulty settings? You just unlocked custom galaxy settings. Now you can change various in-game parameters and tweak general game difficulties. Keep in mind, you can get more space points and unlock additional rewards faster by playing on harder difficulties. And I'm level two, so that means that we're one step closer to being able to unlock the Pandora's Box missions and the Destroyer. Are these different ships then? No, they're just the missions. The storyline, the Dark Emperor. Well, let me know in the comments and with your likes. If you want to see more of this, there's a question mark at the end because this could be just a single episode we do on the channel or it could be a whole series. Let me know. Yes, rip me. It's sad. And that's it for what's in chat. Thanks, Tiny, Speedy, J-Man. artificial and confuser for coming down to the stream today thanks everyone else for watching and those that come in the future this is billy on the gunjam channel signing off bye bye